ExpoSat, the full name is X-ray polarimeter satellite. And basically it is a purely scientific research satellite launched by ISRO, which will be placed in orbit, uh, has been placed in the orbit of 650 kilometers from Earth. It is primarily going to study X-ray and polarimetry Oh, and it, the two devices which have been put for studying this, one has been made by the Raman Institute uh, in Bangalore and the other has been made by URSC. Primarily, both of them are pure science missions. Missions to study like things like the black hole, uh, uh, the effect of black hole, the impact of it, X-rays which emanate in the, in the atmosphere and study them. Uh, purely a scientific mission. But along with that, they've also sent this time POEM, which is uh, a PSLV experimental platform, uh, which is the fourth stage of the PSLV, where eight, this time 10 of startups and some institutes have put the devices which will be tested in space. So ExpoSat apart, the PSLV this time launched is also helping private industry and academic institutions to see the equipment they have and to confirm that it is space worthy. So if you could explain us the significance of it to understand it uh, more better for as an audience. Okay. So more importantly it is it is purely a scientific mission. But you know pure science, pure physics is very very important. Uh, this research and development results in more discoveries happening. We, we are not very sure what we'll discover. We, maybe we'll discover many more things which will lead to further development in space. But to be at this high end of research and exploration is very, very important in space. So that as, as, we, as things develop and as human beings maybe initially will become inhabitants of moon, Mars and beyond, th these are the steps towards that. Now the two de devices, one is called the polarimeter instrument in X-rays and the other is called X-ray spectroscopy and timing. One has been made by the Raman Research Institute and the other has been made by the astronomy group of URSG. Uh, they are both to study basically the X-rays and other emissions which are there in space. So you mentioned so what, what exactly how... Uh, black hole is formed actually, as they say, is in like uh, we have our solar system. There are many solar systems and the star, the one, the main, which emanates all the energy and heat. Uh, after some time, the it, its fuel gets over and it dies and that creates a black hole. So all these effects have to be studied as to how the entire universe has been formed how will it go in the future? Uh, it is for studying of that. So as, uh, as you have clearly monitored and you know how, how it all works, so what is your uh, expectation from this entire launch of satellite and the mission? Uh, you know, uh, uh, this is part of a first purely scientific satellite which has been sent by ISRO. ISRO has been doing a great job. We have landed on the, uh, on the moon. We have sent an orbiter to Mars, and here is a purely scientific. Which will this this experiment is just not for India, but for the whole scientific world, for all the world in space, and it puts us at the highest pedestal in the space domain, all over the world. My last question is: How big is it for ISRO? If, if if you could put it across in words, uh, you know, uh, ISRO has has significant achievements. And one very significant one was last year when the Chandrayaan got launched. This is one of the many steps. The ultimate for the near horizon is having a human being in space, that is the Gaganyaan mission, thereafter having an Indian space station, and also landing on the moon, a human being landing on the moon by 2040. So for all these, these are small steps which are being taken, and on today, on on this very auspicious day, or the first day of 2024, ISRO has given this gift to the whole nation.